Hello everyone, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to see how to use uh, LLMs using LM Studio. In the previous video, we seen about uh, Olama and how to interact with uh, using command line, uh, using uh, API call and also using uh, Langchain via code. Now in this uh, video, we are going to see about LM Studio, which is uh, another uh, software for using uh, LLMs. It also have uh, different range of LLMs, but uh, this has more customizations uh, via UI. So you can just go to this uh, web page lmstudio.ai and uh, download the uh, package corresponds to your operating system minus uh, Windows. I, I just uh, downloaded it and uh, install it in my local machine. And after uh, installing the software, just open up and uh, the UI will uh, look like this. So we have multiple tabs and uh, we will see each tab uh, separately. So here you can see it displays all the uh, models that supported uh, using uh, LM Studio. It also supports Llama, Mistral, Pi, uh, which we already uh, seen in uh, Olama. If you want to uh, search for a specific module means you can just uh, search it here. So I will search for uh, Gemma. Now you can see uh, it loaded all the results for uh, Gemma and uh, you can also filter it by most downloaded uh, module and uh, you can see the likes for the model and the number of downloads and uh, if you want to specify like uh, let's say this is a 27 billion model and this is a 9 billion model if you click on it it will show you all the available formats that the model is if you want to learn more detail about this model you can uh, go to this uh, link so for now instead of Gemma let's use uh, Llama which is the latest one is uh, Llama 3 at uh, the time of this uh, recording. So here uh, you can see uh, this is the Chinese chat Llama 8B and uh, there will be a general version as well. Currently it has uh, many versions like this. I will click on with most likes. So here you can see Meta Llama 3 8B Instruct G G U F. You all you can also see different uh, LLMs. This is uh, I will use, and uh, here they have different quantization uh, types, and you can see the model uh, size as well. Let's learn more about this uh, model or you can also go to this one and let's uh, learn more you can see partial gpu offload is possible i will go with the smaller version for now so in this page uh, you can see more uh, explanation of uh, which uh, version of the model to use or which uh, quantization Usually uh, you would go with the uh, four bit uh, quantization, which is like a common model. And sometimes it also helps you like uh, five bit uh, performs much better than uh, four bit and reasonably well. Uh, I think for Llama, they didn't specify like which uh, quantization performs best because the model was recently uh, released for Mistral and uh, five models. They specified which uh, version of bit to use. Let's go to the page again. I have already loaded uh, Pi2 model uh, in my previous uh, experiments. I will load that. So after searching for the model and downloaded it, you can go to this uh, chat UI. So here you can uh, interact with the model very easily. If you click on this icon, you can see I have downloaded a uh, quantization 5-bit. Uh, this is a Phi 2 model. You can uh, download any number of models you want and you can just uh, choose this uh, model. So here you can see the configuration being applied contains a different system prompt than your current one. I will use accept new system prompt which is uh, default for uh, Phi 2. I just experimented with this uh, model because uh, some system prompts uh, perform much better uh, compared to the original ones as well because I have seen it 
and uh, the preset is phi2 and you can also uh, type some system prompt if you want to do some customization here you can see the GPU offload uh, based on the GPU size you can uh, offload some of the layers to GPU for now I will just uh, use uh, 15 and uh, have to reload so it will just load uh, uh, the first 15 layers to the GPU and rest of them into uh, CPU you can also see the usage in the task manager if you go to performance here you can see uh, this much dedicated memory is being used then uh, you can also increase the number of uh, layers if you have more uh, space in the task manager I have more space so I just uh, load uh, 20 layers and uh, you can also see some of the parameters which you can do some customizations here even in Olama you can use it but uh, if you don't want to touch the code or uh, you don't want to go uh, very deep into the code you just want to set everything in the GUI this will be much uh, easier to do uh, here you have like lots of uh, customizations uh, by default uh, you have the best uh, parameters if you want to change you can also change that as well and uh, you can see everything is uh, defined here you can also customize uh, things okay let's send some messages to the model hi how are you doing let's ask about something different can you tell me about neural networks it is somewhat slow because uh, I'm also recording this video if I am not recording uh, it is much faster uh, when I tried it so you can ask a variety of questions uh, uh, using this uh, chat interface similar to uh, chat GPT so this is like a local uh, model no data or user information will be shared to any uh, person so that's the advantage of uh, using this and you can also do all the customizations that you cannot do in uh, chat GPT so it is uh, generating pretty much everything I'll just stop it uh, we will explore the next step which is the local server uh, here you can see uh, the server port and uh, request queuing verbos everything when you start the server you can uh, use this uh, URL to interact with the model like we seen in the uh, Olama so you also have different uh, methods which you can use chat AI assistant and uh, vision Python now I will be using uh, chat and uh, let's start the server so the server is uh, running on 1234 port and uh, it's uh, it's getting saved in this uh, log file you can also open the log or clear it let's copy this and paste it in uh, VS code so you already uh, typed this thing I'll just uh, remove this and type this one always answer in rhymes introduce yourself okay we will just uh, use uh, the same okay let's uh, run this one so here uh, you can see it right it's accumulating the tokens in a stream and uh, once it is done it will give you back the response here in the print message but you can see the progress uh, in this uh, server logs all of them is uh, saved in the log file but uh, as you can see this is working as uh, expected and uh, this gives you more customization or uh, if you want to just deploy something in the local server and uh, access it uh, using some code 
this is how you can uh, use it uh, via LM Studio. But uh, this will more straightforward compared to the uh, Olama. So the whole uh, result is completed. Let's see the uh, Visual Studio. Here you can see the content. I am a wise old owl. I soar through the sky with feathers so soft and eyes that shine bright. So this is uh, answering in rhymes and uh, the response is good and you can uh, pass any content uh, that you want to pass and get the results. Okay and uh, finally this is the model repository whatever the models you have downloaded so far you can see it here and uh, you can change the configurations uh, here if you don't want this model means you can uh, delete it like this and uh, it will just uh, delete the uh, model and uh, that's pretty much it guys uh, this is how you can uh, use LM studio to access a LLM using GUI and also via code so if you want a good user interface with all the customizations I would suggest to go with uh, LM studio because it has uh, more customizations and you can download different models while Olama is a standard uh, software and uh, it is lightweight if you just want the LLM to run in the background and uh, you just want to sh uh, shoot the request means you can just go with uh, Olama and it also have uh, the Langchain support you can develop some uh, applications using Langchain uh, which is a very common uh, framework for uh, interacting with the LLM. So that's pretty much it guys. Uh, if you have any queries uh, about this video please leave a comment below. Other than that if you like this video hit the like button and I'll see you guys in the next video.